Bees and mosquitoes may be the last of your worries this spring. Tonight, we are learning why we could see more ticks in southwest Virginia. WDBJ7's Nadine Mazur is live on the weather deck with what you need to know heading into these warmer months. Yeah, Jean, I learned quite a bit about ticks today. One thing that really surprised me is not all ticks have Lyme disease, but regardless, everyone should be on the lookout for them. The tick season is kind of from April into June. But Virginia Tech Insect Identification Lab Manager Eric Day says it's hard to predict what kind of tick season we will have this year. It's tough because you kind of get pockets. So you get some areas where you see higher number than normal, some areas potentially you can see lower, and it really ties into the wildlife. Specifically, deer and rodents. Virginia tends to see three different kinds of ticks American dog ticks, Lone Star ticks, and deer ticks. Day says they're all after the same thing blood, but they all carry different diseases. The deer tick is, is going to be associated with Lyme disease, but does not carry Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So there is. It does help to know what kind of tick you've got. This is a Lone Star tick. It's named for the spot on its back. Regardless of the kind of tick, they all pose serious health risks to not only humans, but animals as well. They can get them in the suburban areas as well, but definitely in country areas, we see a large number. Dr. Shelley Spangler is a vet at Angels of Assisi in downtown Roanoke and says all dogs are vulnerable, but some are more than others. Dogs that have a larger amount of hair um, are, are going to be more difficult to find ticks. Um, but they'll, they'll go to any warm body. Ticks can't fly or jump, but once they attach to a body, they can spread a disease in about 12 to 15 hours. That's why it's so important to keep an eye out for them, whether it's your own body or your animal's body. And there's no telling how long these eight legged mites will be around for. Later on in the summer, the numbers seem to drop off, but you never completely get away from finding ticks. And Day gave me a breakdown of where we can find these different kinds of ticks. The Lone Star tick can be found east of the Blue Ridge. As for the American dog ticks, they are west of it in the Blacksburg region of our area. And as for deer ticks, they are kind of sprinkled throughout Gene and again in low numbers. And you can usually detect them because they have black legs. Mm. On the weather deck tonight, Nadine Mazur, WDBJ7.